Hey, we're Alessandra and Marco. And in case you missed our last video, we just bought our own little van to renovate so that we can explore Europe. Now, in our first video, we talked about the questions we asked ourselves before buying our van. Now that we have the van itself, it's time to set it up in style. We bought our van at the end of September 2020, which meant we would only get a month, maybe two, of exploring with our van before it would get too cold, at least for this Texan. So we set to work deciding what would be the first part we would need to build for Van Build 1.0. Of course, we have some items we would want to try down the road, but for a few quick overnight adventures, here is what we decided would take priority. So, number one, we wanted a way to use it with our friends and family. This meant we needed to take out the extra chairs we wouldn't need and make our current pilot and co-pilot chairs so they could swivel. Number two, get our electronics in order. So a way to charge our phones while driving as we also use them for our GPS and also for music. So when we first got the van, it only had one USB port. So we figured we needed a phone holder which would charge our phone wirelessly and then also add some extra outlets into the back of the van to charge our devices and maybe eventually charge a mini refrigerator. Number three, sleeping. So we needed a bed frame and a mattress. We needed a way to make it a bit darker. So tinting the windows, making the window covers and building our bed. And we also wanted some storage. So boxes for underneath the van and storage on the back of the seats as well. And that was our decision for van build 1.0. We first set to work deciding what we would build or do ourselves and what we would outsource to companies. For the chairs, we took the extras out ourselves, but bought the swivel device from a reputable dealer. That way we could drive on the road and not worry about it flying off. However, we did install it ourselves, so time will tell. Marco says, do not do this at home. <laughs> we also got our electronics set up, so they were up and running. Lastly, we found a box we had been using for our winter clothes and made it our designated cooking box where we threw all of our camping food supplies we already had, wasn't a lot, and added the seat organizers to the back of the seats. At this point, we had taken care of all the easy peasy steps and it was now time to put our DIY skills to the test. In our next few videos, we will talk about how we built our bed frame and other final steps before taking our van for her maiden overnight voyage. If you'd like to hear more about our van journey, hit subscribe and leave us a comment if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.